that's not good, is it, mate? You've called them. Um... Welcome back to Hit or Miss TV, ladies and gents. My name's Ramon. Today on the show, we're going to be watching Hellraiser Part 5. This one is entitled Inferno. Quite enjoyed the last one. I don't think it was as good as Part 3, 2 or 1 or the 2022 version. I still think it had good qualities about it and I loved the dog that was like the chatterer dog. Absolutely wonderful. So basically, I'm running through all the Hellraiser movies because I've never seen all of them. And as a hardcore horror fan and a huge lover of Clive Barker, I really should have seen all of these. Now I did check out the casting for this film and a name struck like lightning. This is someone who I loved very much growing up. Craig Sheffer is his name and it's not like a, a an erotic love of this man but I genuinely loved him because when I was growing up I suffered severe mental health problems. I still do but I used to harm myself a lot and a film came out and was a big support to me and that was Clive Barker's Nightbreed. For those of you out there that don't watch a lot of horror movies, you'd assume that people that like hardcore rock music and horror, we're all just sick and messed up in the head. No, horror kind of gives us comfort. The movie that did that for me was of course Nightbreed from 1990. Craig Sheffer stars as Aaron Boone, a lost soul being called to the children of Midian. If you've never seen it, please watch it. I always talk about it. I'm ready to get into this action and I'm really excited because I just can't wait for more. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. So I wonder if this is going to continue on from the last one because we had that guy with the building, didn't we? And I wonder if Angelique's going to be in this, or is that just the one film she's in? I really don't know. There he is, Craig Sheffer. My guy, I love him. He looks a bit like the guy who was in that... You know the vampire guy in Buffy the Vampire Stay? Uh, Bo Boreans. He looks a bit like him, doesn't he? I never noticed that before. I'm terrible at chess. I'm good at chest, but not chess. You played right into my game, Professor. He likes games then, doesn't he? So he's going to be the curious soul about the box, is he? Is that what I think it is? Up your nose? Yeah, it is. What the heck? Is he a cop? Even as a little kid, I was always one to examine things closely. Okay. Mysteries and puzzles. So he's a naughty cop. I thought he was going to be a school teacher, do you know what I'm saying? Like the gym guy. What's a ten letter word for your name? For my name. So he likes puzzles and riddles as well, do you see where it's going? Like I don't know how bad these films are going to get, but realistically the idea of the Cenobites and what you can do with it. I know people have tried different things, some haven't worked obviously, but it really is open to do whatever you want with it. Like you hear, you've got a police sort of story of a cop and he gets involved with it. Like it really can go anywhere. So someone's been killed. Went to high school together. Messing around with the configura- yeah. Messing around with the configuration. He tried out for the basketball team. A nightmare. Hang on, Mexican fella, what the hell has he been in? What'd you do to him? I hate it when I see someone and I don't remember where I've seen him from. He didn't have the moustache, I don't think. Oh, he'll be nicking that. Or is it blood? He nicked it. Is that the configuration? Yep. Ooh. Uh, someone's finger in it, bro. It's a child's finger. It's a child's finger, not just any finger. All right, so we've got a crime mystery, have we? He's a terrible police officer, isn't he? Because believe it or not, detective, I also have a light. Ah, he's gonna take it home and mess around with it, and he shouldn't. Well, you can see already that he's a corrupt police officer. He's stealing, he's doing drugs, so obviously. And he's into puzzles, do you know what I mean? Everything's there, isn't it? Oh, and he's coming home to a good-looking woman and he wants the dugger dugger. 
Oh, he's married with kids. So he's going to get them all hurt then, isn't he? Are you home for the night? I caught a case. Well, they don't have a good marriage. So there's a problem between them then, okay? My parents have been married for 40 years. See? Most men just leave. I know that would kill her. So I ain't gonna leave. Doing this keeps me coming back. And who is to say what's right and what's wrong? That is so bad. Oh God, he's bitter. Yeah, he's a nasty bit of work in this, isn't he? You got any guns? How old is she, 12? Yeah, he's a bad person, isn't he? I think she's probably about 15. <laughs> Pinhead is going to have a play date with him. Want it. Yeah, women will say anything when it comes to the old white powder. Naughty, naughty police officer. Well, she's definitely going to be in handcuffs tonight, isn't she? Reminds me a bit of uh, the movie Bad Lieutenant. He does everything that he shouldn't. And he's got a drink problem as well, is that what that is? Jesus Christ. So drink, corruption, cocaine. And now he's gonna bring forth the Cenobites. So she's gonna be first victim. That's not good, is it, mate? Yep, you've called him. Here we go. I'm excited, bruv. Shut up. Is that his kid's house? Like his kid's bedroom, sorry. Or is it his bedroom as a child? Okay. Oh my God. How beautiful is that? What the heck? Twins. Oh my God. Okay, I, I kind of like a bit of that. It's a bit sick, but... Ooh. Oh no, that's got to be a dream. Oh, this is a bit much, isn't it? It's like erotic, creepy Cenobites. Oh, God. Are you into it? So we've got some kinky Cenobites. Is that Chatterer? Half a Chatterer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, bro. That was like a, a, I don't know what you call it, like the top heart, uh, torso, torso chatterer. There he is. Hello, daddy. Okay, he just ripped his face open and he woke up. And that's what the box can do for you, boy. I reckon that girl's going to be gone or I think she'll be dead. Oh, no. No, she's still alive. I thought she'd be dead. Like you could use an autopsy yourself. She got a lucky escape, you know. Uh, I right. thought she I thought she was gonna be the first victim. What about the child's finger in the candle? Oh that. Guy just said oh that to a finger in a candle, like oh that, yeah, like like that's normal. Are you sure when the finger was cut off, that kid was still alive? Okay, so we've got a child running around without a finger and we don't know who it is. Mm. Joe. Joe His head's not doing too well, is it? Palindrome. You making fun of me? <laughs> it was like, it's like the name uh, Bob. That's one too, right? Yes. Detective Thorne. Who? The girl you were with last night. This is my turn. Oh! Okay, just wait, just slow down. Oh, God. Oh, God. She didn't get away then. Oh my God. That sounds like she's choking on blood. She's dead, mate. Right, the Cenobite's got a... Did he go back to the hotel? There's me, I thought she had a lucky escape. Is she gonna be like hanging upside down with her legs in place of her arms or something? <laughs> Bro.
What? Check out the bathroom. Oh shit, is she in there dead? What are you doing? What the fuck do you mean you stayed there last night? Jesus Christ! What? What? Had sex with her, but I have no fucking idea who did that to her. Right, so she's very dead. I'm a good cop, I play things straight down the line. It's gonna screw him over. It's gonna screw him over. Look at me, Tony. You tell me I'm lying. He's gonna screw him over. Oh my god. He's gonna set him up and give him the blame. Mr. Nolan. Told ya. You absolute rat. Somebody hung her in a shower like a piece of meat. Oh, I hate him now. I think it was an anonymous tip. He's a bad, bad person. Oh. Cut off her finger again. Like cut off her finger like the kid within the candle. That one I think it is. That's yeah. right, mate, it's a finger. What's that about though? Why the finger? Hmm. 50,000 print cards in an hour. We got 7 million print cards in the system. Jeez. What, how, 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 what do you expect him to do? Something with hooks. Try body piercing. Ah. So is this the person? It is the person, okay. Print the file. Who have we got then? So someone into body mods. I used to be into a lot of this. I think I'd, I've told you a lot before, I think I had something like 16 piercings. I had them all up my arms. Like in my neck. You tell him the engineer wants his money or he wants his property. Oh, he's dead. I'm that guy. Unlucky. J. Cho wanted that goddamn box. Why? There is no way I'm gonna talk to you about the engineer. So who the fuck is the engineer? Hunt for the engineer. And the engineer will hunt you. I have no idea what that means. Don't forget about me, huh? Yeah, I'll send you some candy at Christmas. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, it's the twins on his back. Oh, that's great. I love that. It was moving. Oh, they're playing tricks on him. That looks super cool, the way the tattoo moved like that. I like that. So what'd you hook him up with, Bernie? Is that a dealer? Birthday present. So he's a dealer. Dark hair, hot little body. Works a stroll south of the bull. Well, that doesn't really help. What are you doing, bruv? Oh, this guy's a pervert, man. I never met him, I swear to God. I just heard stories. Right. And the engineer will hunt you. That's the same as someone else said. So ain't the engineer Pinhead then? Terry came home one morning and she was back again. Oh, really? So he could slide in next to her. And? And she was very dead. And she wasn't there. It's just her head. Just to know where her body should have been. Oh, crap. So is this... I'm, I'm a bit confused as to who this is. I believe you didn't kill that girl. Tell him with me. It's the right thing to do. Oh, dear. Where's your pen? Yeah. And that um, last pack of cigarettes you smoked. Why is he telling him? Fuck some. Told you he's a snake. Who do you think they're gonna believe, me or you? Oh, that's low life. You planned it? You fucked me and you planned this? No. He's a real, real nasty bit of work. Just had to cover my ass, that's all. That is really, really scummy. Uh, if I was him, I'd go straight to the police station and I would tell them everything. I just would, because I wouldn't let someone bribe me. Detective Thorne. What the heck? Oh, if you look for the, the engineer, he will look for you. Okay, a VHS tape. Are you really going to play it there? Bro, are you dumb? Why would you do that? Please stop. That's the ice cream guy. Right, so it's a human being doing it, a person. 
That's not Pinhead. Why are you still watching it, bro? Yeah, well, that's not Pinhead. That's someone else then. He's taken his finger as well. So he's... Oh! Oh, my God. That was a Cenobite then. I can't believe that. So we've got a Cenobite serial killer. This is weird. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. A Cenobite serial killer. Unless it isn't. Unless he's seeing it as a Cenobite, but it's not actually a Cenobite. We've already been through the entire tape twice. So the tape's blank, so... Joseph, if you could uh, stay here a moment, please. Right, so he saw it and it wiped itself, so they're playing games with him. I'm keeping an eye out for Bernie's man. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go right down and talk about my partner. Yeah, I wouldn't sure. trust him anyway, because he's already screwed over his partner. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't trust him. Just keeps me in the zone. Close-up magic. I bet your daughter loves that. No! It's what's his name? Just he played Raiden in uh, Mortal Kombat, the second one. He's been around for years, this fella. Reschedule this for some other time because I haven't gotten much sleep. How about tomorrow at 10? He's the engineer. Only because he's a famous actor, I'm saying he's the engineer. Whatever that is. Yeah, so he's seeing things that are not there, right? So the video was of a serial killer. Hey! And the Cenobites are playing tricks on him. It's the fucking cash register. Oh my God, there's the finger. So, but that's what he dreamt of though, it's right? Fucking videotape. That was, sorry, that was on the video. Yeah, 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 sorry. He's gonna get his friend killed, I think. Well, I wouldn't even call him his friend because he screwed him over. Looks like a nice place, don't it? Sort of place you take the missus for the night. Those six guns look real. Are you here to play? Yeah, he's there to play. No. I can assure you, Detective, you're quite mistaken about the... I think so as well. It appears that you're playing one of his games right now. Yeah, he's playing along with whatever this is. Oh, mate. See, he's still seeing them everywhere. Uh-oh. The creepy twins are back. Hello, Mr. Chatterer. My, my prince, my king. Is that the dog? Oh, it was the Chatterer dog that was back. Who the hell are these? You are getting your ass handed to you. Who the hell are they? And there's no one there. I don't know why this guy's even sticking up for him. He's a piece of crap. So he's gonna get more incoherent because of the concussion now. Joseph. You see, he's back in it. That's why I'm saying I think he's the engineer. Whatever that is, we still don't know. Joseph, please, sit down. <laughs> campfire story to scare academy cadets and rookies. Yeah, see, look, he's, he's acting a bit weird now. He knows. It might be him. You see, I don't think it's like a perfect Hellraiser movie by any standards, but the idea of it, again, is completely different from the last one. You always had some crazy things going on in space where this one is more of a thriller and it's a psychological thing to think whether this cop... He's a bad cop, right? But is, is it in his head or is this really happening? I must admit that I was... Intrigued enough to actually go and look for it, but when I... That's why I think he's the engineer. It's probably either lost or destroyed by now. I have it. What, this? It's called the lament configuration. Here we go. They come for you. And they tear you apart. They come for you. Some Cenobites. Others call them demons and say they take you to hell. Do you know what's really pathetic, yeah? 
it's little bits like this that give me the little goosebumps of like horror erotica. Like I don't mean it like, like erotica like that, but it's why I love horror. It's those little magic, nerdy, goofy moments where I'm like, Goo -goo! I love it. I believe it's real, but the history is consistent. I think he's bad, this guy. Just saying in my heart tells me. And maybe they're still here. For what reason? Why do they want him? Kind of like the reason as well why I love the Nightmare on Elm Street movies so much. Like you just saw, there's a sequence in this where you had the hallway and it's snowing inside. That doesn't happen. But with this and the fantasy in the realms of the underworld, you can do what you like. I'm here for a little while and then I gotta go. Come in here with me. You look rough, mate. So he's never even there for his family and kid anyway. Oh my God, look at his hand. That was so cool. Yeah, they're really getting to him. Do you know what's crazy as well? I've said this, if you've watched all of my videos, right? I hate psychological horror. I don't enjoy it because I don't think it's done very well. This is done well. I know some of you are gonna disagree with that, but I don't like psychological horror, but this is done quite cle like cleverly. That's why you should have gone to the doctor, because I don't know which parts of this is real or not. Won't you leave this house? You, here? you see, because he's getting more incoherent because of, well, the drugs being the, the crap beaten out of him. And the windows, do you remember how to use this? Do you remember? Yes! Daddy. They're going for the little girl, 100%. It's okay, really. it's just I love my... Daddy's gone. Do you know what I'd like to see? I would love to see a Hellraiser movie that's based in Africa with a tribe. You know what I mean? Like old school, old school with a tribe in Africa and they find a lament configuration. You'll have to sign in, room 116. You're not looking good, bro. Sir, you have to check in. Because that's what I'm saying. Because he's got concussion, it kind of works with the movie because now I'm questioning whether this is his head because he's had his head fucking battered in or is this really happening? The twins. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that looked wicked. Like that. It gets a little worse every day. So now this is guilt. They're playing on these emotion of guilt. So it's still torture and suffering. So where is he really? Do you see what I'm trying to say to you? Like he's in this sequence, but is this sequence really happening? Is it not? I don't know. Back in his bedroom again as a child. So maybe he had some sort of trauma as a kid, which is why he's such a nasty bit of work. I don't know. Dad's beat. Oh no. The flip. Uh, it sounds like she's getting beaten. What? Was his mum killed? Oh. Mummy's dead. So that wasn't real, it was all, do you see what I mean? It's all in his head. Oh, uh, hi, how are you? Back to the phone call. Wait. Hello. Something about the engineer. Someone that you were looking for, something like that? An engineer. Of an engineer. Oh, wow. They're trying to mess with him and make him insane. Sir, sir, wait. So he's really going there now. He's really there now. Right, okay. We've been expecting you. If, if you had only shown some identification. Is this still a dream? I didn't know the Thorns had a son. Oh, gutted. How do you feel now, Dick? They just seem to have vanished. Oh. So they took them, which doesn't really measure up to what the Cenobites do, do you understand? Mr. Thorne isn't able to leave the bed anymore. And... Nah. Oh, shit. Oh, your parents are gone, bro. Oh, no. I like the first movie from The Mattress, do you remember? That's what the engineer brought them. So the engineer must be Pinhead. Two fingers, yeah, mum and dad's fingers. 
416C Halfway Lane. Wow. So is his parents really gone? Is it the Cenobites? Tell him what, huh? Tell him about the engineer? Yeah, no one's going to believe it because it's nuts. There is no engineer. Oh, is it him? Just you. <laughs> oh. What am I supposed to think? Yeah, huh? I don't blame him. And he tried to screw him over and set him up, so... Oh, shame. It's kind of really like he's getting his own karma back, isn't he? Okay, 416 halfway lane. What the hell is going to be here? Why here? Okay, so he's been set up to look somewhere. I don't even want to know what he's going to see when he looks through there. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Oh, man. He didn't deserve that. Unless it's really him doing all of this stuff because he's crazy. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh, I can't believe they've killed him off, though. That was a bit out of order. Time to go home. I think, yeah, he's trying to, yeah, he's good. So something's going to happen to his family. But I think that sounded like the doctor, the psychiatrist. Oh, my God. Welcome home, detective. I told you it was him. No one's here to hear them cry. See? Told ya. Not real then. In his head. When are you coming home? Ugh, snap. That looks cool. Well, are they dead or not? <laughs> he looks happy with himself. So is it him all along? Like, is he a serial killer? Well, it's yours. Ah, see. Told ya. I don't understand. He's being set up. You even misunderstood me when I told you to go home. So he's being set up to pay for the things that he's done. You see, I know everything about you, Joseph. Engineer. <laughs> You're losing it, mate. You're the engineer. <laughs> it's as good a name as any. There we go. See? Who I am is no concern of yours. Go home. Why are they helping him find this thing? And I'm a bit confused by the plot here. So it's something from his past, maybe. So it's back to his childhood bedroom. So it's something from his past. Maybe it's his dad's a killer. Did his dad kill his mum? Right, so that's him as a child, okay. Imagine how weird that would be though, to go back to like, when you're that age. I kind of remember being that age. I remember the house that I used to live in and I remember all my little school friends going to play school and things like that. But if I could go back, like awake now, to go back and see myself, I'd pick myself up, give myself a massive cuddle and say, depression, you've got to ignore it. It's going to happen. And I would teach myself about it then. That's what I would teach myself as a kid. Dad? Right, okay, Dad's there. Nixon. I don't know what year this is, but I know that was Nixon. You know why I baked you brownies, Joe? Because you're such a good boy. I'm such a good boy too. Ah, oh, chocolate brownies are the best. Cut off the finger. All right, something's happening. What the heck? Home sweet home, but not anymore. Now she's aged. He's gone because it's him older. Oh my God. We never see you anymore. We don't like it here. Like it where? Oh my god! He just blew his mum and dad away. Or did he? I don't know. 
I have no idea what is going on. That's what I was saying before, there's sequences like that with snowing in hallways and that. I love all that. It's the same sort of like dreamy sequences from uh, Elm Street. Even the newer Elm Street movie did that as well, where it was like snowing on the stairs or something like that. Oh God, it scared the crap out of me. Whatever you want, as many times as you want. Ugh, no thanks. Ugh. Okay. How many bloody bullets has he got in that gun? I thought they only held two bullets. Ah, oh, it's his friend who died, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Tony. <laughs> is he gonna wake up back in bed? I really have no idea where he is. It's like he's in hell. <laughs> the ice cream man. <laughs> See you later. Blown him away as well. It's like he's trapped in his own personal hell. Chatter off. Hello, beautiful. No, 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 no. Hello, creepy girls. Oh, he does run out of bullets, see? A dark room. What now? He sees himself. And then he's in the dark room. So, does this where Pinhead wanted him? To tear him apart? But why here? Why now? So he's seeing himself as a child. Ugh, has his fingers been cut off? Yeah, they have. Six fingers. Eight fingers. So, what's the deal here? It's him, isn't it? That's what I thought. I was thinking that all along. Like, he's crazy. Oh. Is he the killer then? I don't understand. I don't either. Please help me. I don't understand. I, can, I don't know. All the people you hurt. All the appetites you indulge. Karma. And this is the hell you have created for yourself. So it's a serving of karma for all the wrongdoing that he's done, I think. <laughs> oh, you're gonna suffer. You have forsaken yourself. I agree that he done all of that. Oh my God. Oh no, thank you. Only one finger left now, Joseph. Oh, look at the state of him. Your own. Oh dear, oh dear. That looks nasty. Welcome to hell. Oh! Bye bye. It just ripped his head in half. But is he in hell or not now? Is he really dead? Is this the bathroom before it all started? Oh my god. So he's back at the bathroom where we just had sex with that girl, done the laments configuration. Yeah, see? So what does that mean now? Does he get to choose to change it? Or is he really dead? No, I think he's really dead. It's not, it's not a dream, mate. Okay, so is this now or is this all a dream? Here we go. Oh dear. What's the matter, Joe? You okay? Is he going to get... Tra he's trapped. He's... Oh! No! Don't do it! Oh my God, his own personal hell is to play Groundhog Day being trapped in that moment over and over again. That's his suffering. Reliving that moment over and over. I know for certain is that I will live with them forever. Yeah, he's trapped there now. No! <laughs> Unlucky son. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's get to our review for Hellraiser Inferno. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Hellraiser Inferno. First up, I've got to say Nicholas Totoro, who played Tony. 
I recognised him, I did look it up halfway through the movies that I'd seen him in, and it's a film from years ago called Mo Better Blues, and I remember him from that, and there's a few other little performances. I thought his performance in this was really, really good as Tony, I liked him a lot. I also really loved the designs of the new Cenobites, the tw I think they were like twin girls, the twins, the torso type chatterer character. Not in it enough, I've got to say that, they're not in enough, but we'll get to that in a minute. I also like that it took a completely different approach to all of the other films, but this is a good point and a bad point, which leads me on to that. I feel like this was a movie that was made and written without it being a Hellraiser film, and it feels like a good thriller, a psychological thriller, and it feels like the Cenobites story was molded around it to fit it in. It kind of didn't make sense in how it works with the Hellraiser franchise, because Cenobites don't play games in a sense of teasing someone to teach them a point. It's about suffering, it's about making them feel pain. Though our lead character was made to suffer throughout the movie, it was more in a psychological sense more than physical. I do commend the team behind this film because you've got to remember we've seen four Hellraiser movies already. The last one was in space for God's sakes. So where else can they go next with a story to keep it unique and fresh? Although this isn't as good as the other movies, I still appreciate and respect that they attempted to do something a little bit different with the franchise. As a person who isn't into psychological horror films, I still found this really engaging and I didn't get bored at any point. I still wanted to know what was going on. As with all the previous entries in the franchise, I sit here wondering why we don't get to see more Cenobite action. I absolutely loved seeing that version of the Chatterer. I just love the character so much. The only other downside to the movie, there were some sequences where the dialogue and the acting was a bit bad. In terms of a rating, I would probably give this movie a six out of 10. And to be quite honest with you, all of the ones I've watched so far, I wouldn't mind watching again. Like I'm not sitting here going, I hated that film. So ladies and gents, you've heard my thoughts and opinions on Hellraiser Inferno. More importantly, I would love to know yours down in the comments. Check out all the other reactions to the franchise on our channel. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one, which will be Hellraiser 6, which I have no idea about. So until next, time. My name's Ramon. This is Hit On Miss TV. Peace.